Hey, what's up guys, CFX Hound, and welcome back to some more Everybody's Gone to the Rapture. This is part three, and apparently, just to get this um, out of the way, there is a run button. So you can hold R2 to go a little bit quicker. You do go quicker. Okay, so nobody clarified this with Chinese Room, so all the reviewers that reviewed this game have given this uh, game like a signif significantly lower score because, um, because that they didn't think that it had a run button, so they thought you just had to walk really slowly the whole way there. So that's kind of harsh on the game now that it's got loads of low reviews uh, because of that. Well, not low reviews, it's still getting high reviews, but they, they docked it quite a bit just because uh, there was no run button. Which, um, it was pretty stupid of them not to clarify though, right? In fact, I would say really dumb of them not to clarify um, that they had a run button. Like in the controls, we went in there and checked that in part one and, and they didn't have it. Just didn't have it. We've already done this part, but it seems as if um, it didn't save. Does it? Going away, Amanda? Yeah, oh, just it didn't for a few save. days, yeah. First thing in the morning. I don't want the kids to catch this flu that's going around. It's probably that father, Jeremy, spreading it around while he tries to bully everyone into donations for the We already saw that. So we're gonna skip past that. I don't know if that does anything. We already answered this phone too, but... What are you gonna do, eh? We got as far as the Hamilton substation before we cut the lights. Hello? I sucked a lot of dick for views. Sorry, I'm singing Pootie Pie's YouTube horror song. Best song of all time. Hello, Frank Appleton. Already heard that phone call. Okay, where are we going, buddy? Oh, Frank. There was a problem with RV. Said he couldn't get through to the vet, so I said I'd come round and take a look. There's a lot of dead birds today. More here, too, poor little things. I've been trying to get hold of Steve, and he always knows what to do. Got round here, and no sign of either of them. With any luck, the stupid creature will have run under a car. It's probably rabies. Are they talking about a dog, or... Or what? Where are you going, Wendy? Let's check the house first. Before we go onwards. So many dead birds, man. Hey, Harvey. Are they talking about the dog, that they wanted the dog to be dead? Seems harsh. Okay, there's nothing around here. Just lots of dead birds. Lots and lots of dead birds. You gotta love the dead birds. He's taking out the trash. That's about it. Where are you taking us, Wendy? It's not really a run button, but it, it does quicken your pace a little bit. Harvey! Harvey, come on, boy! Oh, yeah, it is the dog. Come on, Harvey! Come on, Harvey! Come on, Harvey! Come telling them the dog Harvey. they want them to run under a car. So is the dog after disappearing? They don't want me to go up here, but... Push the bloody thing! You push it! I told you it would get stuck! I should have just taken the car! This was a stupid idea! Moving here was a stupid idea. And I told you, Barbara said they blocked the roads. You go and look then. Wait, is that Harvey? Harvey? Harvey! Harvey! Here, boy! Come here, boy! Where's Harvey? Harvey, mate! Come on, Harvey! You up here, buddy? Good old lobby. Where are you at, Harvey? I waited four days, Harvey. Where y'all at? Oh, here you are. I'm 
Sometimes these stupid things don't work. There we go. Wendy, I'm married. You have to stop this. He's still sweet on you, Elizabeth. He, he left. It's too late. You loved each other long before she came along. It's just about making things as they should be. Wendy, no. It's not like you won't bump into each other anyway. <laughs> one drink, what can that hurt? Oh, one drink, maybe. Oh, one drink, wonderful. <laughs> okay, Wendy and Lizzie. Where's Harvey? I thought he was leading us up here, but... Seems as if they've gone to a different storyline now. That's a pretty view there, isn't it? Lots of birds and a nice view. Right, Harvey. Save there. Beautiful. Beautiful little save point. Sorry, I'm going to mic over there a little bit. Okay, so Harvey, did he come down here or...? No. Seems as though Harvey's just gone. That was the end of the road. Phone call from Stephen. He wants to shut down the receiver. Something about instances across the valley. There's intermittent electrostatic discharges radiating out of Tower 6. All of the electrics on the main gate are blown. I'll find time to take a look once the data stream begins to calm down here. Alright then. Let's follow Wendy some more, I guess. Wait. What are you doing? Why aren't you moving? Why aren't you moving? Why are you staying there? Can you interact? No? Weird. Why is he just standing there? This is the way we're going though, right? Is that the end of the line for Wendy, maybe? I can't see him. Should we go down? Just leave it. We've got to keep moving. Sean! We can't just leave him. He must be really badly hurt. Jesus, Diana, we've got the kid in the car. We should just keep driving. We can't just drive off and... Look! He's there. He's in the car. Oh, oh he's hurt. We've got to get down there. I said, leave him. Leave him? The valley while we can. Oh, my God, he's trying to enter his seatbelt. There we are. He's fine, then. You're a piece of shit, Sean. You're gonna leave this man. Well, I guess they are turning into zombies or something. Okay, so what happened to the dog? That that whole storyline just ended, I guess. Because there was no other way up back there, was there? Oh, well, how is he not hella dead? Did that stick not go right through him? Follow the river. Let's go for a swim down here. End of the line. Okay then. So, hmm. What now, Evander? Should we go back and check out if there's something more with that dog? There was no other way to go though. So I don't understand where we would have found that dog. Wait, maybe. Wait, how can we get out of here? Damn it, we can't. Freaking nature, we have to go back down. Really? Come on, guys. Why I gotta do this to me? YouTube views. Damn it. Why do we have to come up here? We're so stupid. Stupid, eh? Stupid. Alright, so they just left that fella to die. Apparently. Why is that just staying there? That it's weird to me. Unless we're meant to go up there. Is there any w other way up there or something? Okay, let's go back and have a look, because it seems as if that's not the end. She wouldn't just be s waiting there for us, would she? Unless there was something to do. And moving the thing does nothing on her. How's that? That noise is giving me the creeps. It's like a wolf or something. We'll just go back and make sure. 
It's probably there's probably nothing, but I just want to make sure Harvey or something doggy. Cause I don't want to leave the doggy to die. See, we can go down here. Yeah. I knew it. I knew there was something. Harvey has to be down here. Harvey, where y'all at, brother? Are y'all not gonna tell me? Come on. Oh, I thought there was a cave there or something. Okay, so we can't get across there. So we have to go down the other way then. Alright. This will hopefully take us to the same place we were, where we were going anyway, but... I'm hoping... This is the actual way to find Harvey or whatever. Doesn't seem like it's leading us anywhere actually, does it? Nope. Alright. Screw you guys then. Let's follow the dirt track for a while. Because that was the track that the doggy was on. I don't want to find this goddamn dog. So we heard him. I mean... Grief, Wendy. You catch your death. They're all dead, father. All of my birds. Here. Take my jacket. I tried to be a good woman. A Christian woman. But I've been proud. Just as the Lord forgave you, so also should you. What matters is, we try our best. God sees that. Come back to the village with me. I'm not so far from Stevens now. I need to find my son. It's what Eddie would have done. Yes. I suppose it is. I'll say a prayer for you. Thank you, Father. She loved you, you know, Mary. You helped her. I'm sorry if I judged you harshly. It doesn't matter now. It's late. You, you should find a place to sleep. She's forgiven the father. I'm sure when the sun comes up, everything will seem better. Man, this game just gives you the, like, it gives you the chills, like, all the time. Like, every time there's, like, dialogue or anything. I don't know why, but it gives me the chills. Just, it's, it's just emotional and brilliant storytelling so far. I was doing a rock on it there, putting my arm up to show... Show it's giving me the chills. But it's true, man, I, I tell you. Okay. Let's go over here and have a look first. So the, the Harvey dog thing never worked out for us, did it? Did it open? No. Okay, so, yeah, I guess that was the end of the line for Harvey. And those people, they never found their dog. So sometimes it just gives you little random ones, because we didn't really know those people either, did we? Or did we? I think there was some, someone who knew Wendy. Okay, we're at a train track now. Alright. Oh shit. Oh no! Lots of blood there. Uh oh. Howard. Howard. Howard, what's happened? Stephen, thank God. Listen, I need you to get to the junction box. See if there's a phone working. No, stay back. Don't come up here. Oh Christ! Is that bloody idiot? <laughs> Where the hell did they think they were going? I think they must have thought they could walk out along the line. Well, there won't be any more trains now. You're a callous bastard, Stephen. Just pragmatic, Howard. Did you say there's a working phone in the junction box? Well, he's right. There won't be any more fucking trains. God damn it. Something bad happened there. Wow. Nasty. Saved anyway. 
This game's intense, bro, I tell you. I love it. I really didn't think it was going to be this gripping. But it's fucking gripping, alright. Let's have a look up here. See what the story is. Anything going on I up here? I lost my shoes. I lost my shoes, sir. There's arches on the green. The fuck? They've taken my shoes, sir. Howard? Howard Lantham! You open the door this instant, young man! I lost my shoes. What's she going under the shoes for? Now get up. Get up. I lost my shoes. What on earth are you doing here, Howard? Stephen. He told me to stay in case Lizzie phoned. Stephen, where is he? What are you doing with those birds? Concentrate, Howard. Where's Stephen? He said he couldn't help them. He took my shoes so I'd stay. Listen to me, Howard Lantham. You find your shoes and you get to the village. Find Father Jeremy. He'll give you some soup or something. Be off with you. Where are you going? I'm going to find my son. Then I'm going to ask him what on earth he thinks he's doing. Let's go find her son. There was some trophy to do with Howard. I can't remember exactly what it was. She going this way, do you think, or Nah. I'm gonna try back around the corner first. Check if there's any other good stuff around there. Down here, okay. No, I don't think we can get past here. Can we? No, okay. So it seems as if that is the way we're going then. Better to check everything out though, just in case. So, let's follow Wendy and go find Steven. Steven Appleton, you fucking psychopath, man. Pretty much everything's locked. Might as well check just in case there's some secrets in one of them or something. You never know. Oh, what the hell just went on there? You see that? That was a big one. That's the biggest one I've ever seen. What does that mean? Can't imagine it means something very good, though. I wonder, did Howard find his shoes? Oh, this even gives me the chills. I don't know why. I honestly don't know why, but it does. Fancy seeing you here. Oh. Is everything all right, my dear? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm all right. I'm all right. It's just... Robert. I thought that was Stephen. That man doesn't deserve you. I know everybody thinks I'm just a mithering old busybody, but someone has to say what everyone else is thinking. We both know that this marriage, it's not how things are supposed to be. Are you talking about me and Robert? Or is this really about Stephen and Kate? I suppose it is. I have to accept it, I know. But she doesn't belong here. You see that, don't you? There's a place for people, and this isn't hers. Oh. But I'm not talking about the colour of her skin. Don't look at me like that. What they do up there? Kate's black, then? It's not natural. There are some things we're not supposed to understand. I don't like her. And I don't like how Stephen is around her. He was a better man when he was with you. Oh, so that's why she was trying to tell her to to get back with Steven or whatever. Okay. I'm guessing that was just a, a random little thing. Pretty cool though, I must say. Let's go for a swim. You can't go into the deep waters. Saving there now. 
All right. Well, seeing as it's just saved there, guys, we'll end this part here, part three here. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, this video. I'm really enjoying this game so far. So if you can keep up the support, that'd be great because I want to make this into a full series. And it's it's going great so far. So thank you for the support so far. And we will hopefully kick it into a next gear. Um, if you missed my part one, go back and hit that with a like. I'd greatly appreciate that. I'm trying to get to 50 likes on that. So I'll see you guys for the next part of Everybody's Gone to the Rapture very soon. Mahalo.